Bag fuel, baby. Oh, man. Y'all going to enjoy this one, man, because we, we got a guy who's super high octane. He was living a rapper lifestyle before it was a rapper lifestyle. Well, both these niggas. So I'm not on. He did say I'm not on. Let me, let me tell you, travel with the world. Yeah. We, got, we, we got Freaky Zeke here. Let me explain to you how ill it is. The last time I did an interview with Freaky Zeke, legendary shit, and he ended the interview by saying, "I live with two women, and they're both porn stars." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that time. And I just remember the whole room stopped, and we were like, "How do you manage that?" He's like. I don't even remember the answer, but it was such an ill answer. And he's like, rappers want to be me. <laughs> <laughs> rappers do want to be me, man. They still want to be me, fam. They, they is, because I don't give a fuck. You Never. understand what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Y'all shouldn't give a fuck, neither, because it, it's life. You understand? We, we're keeping this. I'm going to keep it at a monotone right now until we get into no, the, we to turn the it one, up. two, one, two. You got to understand, fam. Stop trying to rush to your goals, fam, mm. no matter how fast you fucking go. You ain't gonna get there till it's really the time for you. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like I'm pretty sure you you was like, yo, I need to do your mind is at the finish line. Yes. But reality takes you know, its time. It takes its time. You, you understand what I'm in. saying? Mm -hmm. So that's that's basically for, what for I'm talking who, about. Who hit so many finish lines within your own self, watching your brothers Cam, Jewels, Jimmy, hitting really major success in your early 20s, man. Like, I don't even know, like, what, what, what comes after that? Because then you see the ups and downs. We know that you almost lost your life. Like, real shit. Twice. Yeah. Twi yeah, I almost I, lost my life really? twice. Yeah, one time. And it's, and it's always my, I lost my life one time. I got shot in church. You know what I'm saying? I was. What do you I mean was, in church? I was, I was thugging and bugging, but these niggas, it's just. So I'm gonna make the story short. Cause last time I told the story, motherfucker, they don't be believing none of my shit. <laughs> First of all, y'all niggas don't be believing none of my shit because my shit be real. My shit is really real, fam. Mm. Y'all living, y'all living on sin. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all make your life up with your thumbs and y'all press sin. I really had to get mm. to these places to, to make my name known. You know what I mean? Mm. But I was at a church. I was in Catholic school. We went. To, it wasn't like I was in church with my moms and we singing the Holy Dial. They had a club in the yeah. church, you know what I mean? Somebody punched my man in the face. I took, I stepped in front trying to be the, the savior yeah. and I ended up getting hit. That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta mind your business on a lot of shit, family. I'm just all there for y'all. But what was the question? Oh, we can't, like you gotta reinvent yourself. Back to the question mm. at hand. Yeah. You saying how do I what? I mean, you say, you know, you, you wanna get to your destination, but sometimes even though your mind is there, Everything doesn't align, but your whole squad was hitting destinations before y'all was even out of college, depending on your age, man. After that, like, how does your mind stay, you know, motivated, focused, grounded, man? How my mind stays focused. Because you're seeing shit. You my, mind, my mind stays focused due to the fact that life doesn't stay the same. You know what mm. I'm saying? And plus... Hop, let me do just a quick summary of the diplomats. Cam, he's his own boss. Jim is his own boss. Zeke is his own boss. Mm. Joel's was his own boss. You know what I'm saying? We just ended up being family. Like I said, I met Jim when I was in the eighth grade. Mm -hmm. It's Cameron Giles, I'm Ezekiel Giles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Joel's, we knew him since he was ripping off the pamper and running up the hallway. But as we grew, we had our own identity. I see what, what, what kept us like Voltron was the fact that we knew Cam was the boss. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And nobody wanted that position. Like Cam, mm. Cam was, was Steph, motherfucking Jim was Thompson or Joel's was Thompson. I'm Draymond Green, you know what I mean? And I mm. forgot whoever the one other, Joel's was that. And we enjoyed that position. Got you. You understand? Everybody, everybody nowadays, they're like, I get next to y'all too. I see y'all doing y'all y'all YouTube shit. Mm -hmm. My first thing is, well, not my first thing. Yeah. A lot of people's first thing is, oh, I know I could, I know I'm funnier than you, man. Let me get next to these niggas, mm -hmm. and then I'ma just push them back and be like, ta-da! It's today, it's me, and it's just me, and it's only me. These two ain't shit. They can never be shit because I know I'm better than them, and they can't do shit, and I'm the shit, and I will be the one. And they end up crashing and burning. Because they don't know 
They don't know what it took for y'all to even be sitting this comfortable. Mm, yes. They don't know the broke times, the hard times, the what the fuck times, looking up the block, like where they at. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm saying in the time, I'm saying y'all was drug dealing. No, like but looking up the block, life. like where's the money? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And all the shit y'all went through and all the fucked up, fucked up no, times. But- for y'all to get finally get here, and they nigga just be like, oh, look at them. And, just, and then the way y'all nonchalant, y'all chilling, you got your leg crossed like this, got your hand like this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should make it look, look mad easy, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we didn't do. Okay. Mm. We knew Cam was the Cam, you know what I mean? And we pushed, we took everything. We took everything on our own, and that's how we really blew, because one time I asked Cam, I'm like, yo, Cam, could I, uh, who was I getting? Don King. I was going to get Don King to take a picture for SDE, Sports Druggers and Entertainment, okay. mm-hmm. his second album. He's like, Z, stop fucking asking me what to do. Go and do it. This is your company. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They signed me, but this your company, my nigga. Stop asking me what I need to do. That's all I needed to know. So now I got Don King. I run because I know the more profit I put in the can, Comes, the more profit I'll be able to receive because his star-tism is going to go up. And once he's mega, I get mega. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And opposed to other niggas, I got a lot of people that get sent to the wayside. I know you got a couple of friends. You got a couple of friends that was on a journey with you that ain't on a journey anymore. That's a you fact. know what I'm saying? And because they came up with this fantasy of how you fucked up, and there's them really trying to infiltrate on what you're doing. You can't get in there. Get the fuck out the whip, homeboy. You ain't, you're, not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do to keep this car running. You understand? I feel like that the big thing between y'all, and I'm asking, y'all got a lot of trust with each other, B. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I feel like that four, four different niggas that form in Voltron and say, He's the boss and we recognize that. That don't happen like that. Rare. That's trust because, because what you just told me was, I'm going to do this shit because if Cam go here, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Nobody else got that type of philosophy like that. Is that, is that, a, is that mm-hmm. an uptown thing or is that a diplomat thing? That's, that's a, that is, hold on, let me see. Let me get the words correct so I can say it right. That's, that's not. That's just, it's not, it's not a thing. It's something that's within. Okay. It's not a thing. I can't, no one, no one went to school to say I'm a trust. First, first of all, trust is earned. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like when I first see you and you say, Zeke, can you take this over here? And he's going to give you this and I give it back to you. Like you, like you trusted that, that has to go through. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it was steps to it or on top of the love. You know what I'm saying? Because I could love you, but. I don't have to trust you. There's a lot of crackheads in my family. You know what I'm saying? I love the shit out of them, but I know I can't trust them. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it it just became an understanding. We just had an understanding. Like, that's why it's the Jay-Z's and then it's it's the diplomats and then it's other people because only 1% could view that and Mm, understand that and get that. Look at Shaq and Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Them two motherfuckers hated each other after, you know what I mean? Rest in peace, Kobe. You know what I'm saying? It was a situation, whatever they probably had, where they didn't agree. You know what I'm saying? But them two niggas still got together and started shaking. You understand? So it's, that don't come in the masses. Mm. What, we, what the diplomats is to this day, don't, it, that, you don't get that because it's, it, it's 1% of the people that's going to be able to view life as understanding. This one person is who we got to funnel everything through because that's going to make everything behind it work. You know what I'm saying? That's why we became megastars. You know what I mean? Like, I was young with that philosophy. Yeah, super you got, young. You got old people that frontal lobes develop and they're still selfish in that way. But y'all was young. That's why, I, that, that's it, why it's so rare shocking to me because it, y'all was because y'all was really young and moving like grown moving better than grown men is moving even to this well, day. I, I, I could give a I could give a little under, better understanding to it. Like um our families was raised in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it was an order that can't, and it was family working in the streets. It wasn't like, it was like, 
your family, y'all had y'all click, your family, y'all had y'all click and well, since the, the 60s and 70s. So y'all was taught to be trustworthy and y'all was taught family values. Y'all was taught, cause that's what it is. You know what I mean? Like we were all, we come from, we come from hustlers, pimps and hustlers, Cam, myself, Jim, Jewels, you know what I'm saying? So it was a, and it was a family conglomerate of hustlers. It wasn't, they met some dude on the block and they formed, it was like the aunts, the uncles. So that formula of making sure your brother is good, working in the street, really having to do what he got to do to make sure he's safe. That, I guess that was instilled in us. Gosh. So once we got together, we understood the camaraderie of understanding how to make the family move as one. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these motherfuckers got motives. Now we at the age where people know y'all and y'all and y'all, they with y'all because they know they can become better. Mm -hmm. gotcha. You understand? Like friendship is, friend, it like, Making money now is more of the friendship. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It ain't so much you my man and we ain't have nothing. And we, we gonna grow still, together. Yeah. Because, yeah. woo, 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 woo. Yeah. and that's rare. Mm -hmm. Usually now is you popping, you popping. I'ma get with y'all and I'ma add on. You know what I'm saying? Yes, definitely. To make it work. And that's how friendships start. But that's but to long ass fucking story for that one ass question. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. It was classic. it was a family orientated thing that happened before we was born. Cause nah, you don't you can't teach that shit we Let did. Let me tell you how how ill it is, right? Cause we just saw Kanye go crazy on Pusha T. Hmm. However, when Jimmy and Pusha were going at it, Cam goes in and says, even though me and Jimmy don't always rock, don't use my name. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And that just now, after Kanye going crazy, it just solidified the camaraderie and family between the four right. guys plus more, man. Like that shit, I was right. just like, what's your thought? Did you see that Kanye shit? Yeah, I seen Kanye, man. Listen, man. Because he was, he was around him. Kanye, that, he's a smart motherfucker. Mm. Kanye, he's... He's, I think they put something in his Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? Because once you get to the, to the Billies, he ain't even make, he ain't like just touching Billies. He's a billionaire, yeah, yeah, plus, multi. Plus, yeah. Yeah. When you put multi and then you start telling motherfuckers to kiss your ass, it's all type of shit that happens that mm -hmm. we will never know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, look, when OJ won, oh, look man. what happened to, to, to the lawyer staff. Oh, yeah. Johnny Cochran up, man. No. Kardashian no. up. Everybody, no, Johnny Cochran dead. Yes. Mm. You understand what I'm Kardashian, saying? Kardashian dead. He's wow. dead too, the Kardashians yeah. dead too. Yeah. yeah, dead. You understand? So when you do stuff that could, that anything that, anything that could cause a multitude of people to congregate mm -hmm. and fight, Sure, something always happens. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, if you could take it back to the Lorraine with Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, fuck that, these sanitation niggas, y'all wildin', this, that, and boom! Get the, something, Get he lot, just yeah. end up dying. Motherfucking Malcolm, anything, Biggie, Tupac, everything that causes something that could formulate and move in a direction to stop an accord that they already got going on, somehow, some way, shit, happens to Somebody them. Somebody gets dead. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know how to reverse that motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? This, mm. this is what this is. This, this is what's this bag fuel? Yes, bag fuel. This is what we giving you. First of all, I got a bag too. You know what I'm saying? Talk we're, about we're it. We'll talk about it. It looks like you got some gas in there. It looks like you got some fuel no, in there. You yo, it was No, I thought <laughs> I had gas in there, but it's my Louis sneakers. Oh, man. He fresh that off I the had. plane. Yo. I'm fresh, fresh off the plane, but, but just, just in case. I, I, I may just have a see, gas. See, you gotta have that. You gotta have you. that. Shout you gotta out, have shout that. out Native Green. Shout out Native Green. This for you, bro. Oh, you know what oh I'm my saying? God. And it's, and it's outside your body. You know what I mean? You're gonna become Ooh, outside your body. Today. And they got yes. the price tag on it, so yeah, it's yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, from yeah. a dispensary then. Yes, this, this is definitely from this is just moi. <laughs> <laughs> Where your dispensary at? <laughs> it's dispensary. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Freaky got a dispensary. I don't know why we choppy choppy, but I guess no, no, no. This is now. exactly how we doing it. Freaky has a dispensary. See, I never talk seen, about it. See, before I get into all that. Okay, what's up? I did, I did, I dibble dabble in the rapping thing. You know what I'm saying? But this is what was told to me. I did hate mom, so I just to let y'all know the biggest single the diplomats ever had that made us go from urban to pop. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That was me on the hook. Jim tried to go in there and do it all over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim tried to take your hook. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yo, yo, Cam, hmm, Jones, hmm, let me get on the hook, take Z, hmm. Jim was on there like, hmm, hey, Ma. Cam was like, get that shit out of there. <laughs> <laughs> but he, I give him that, he wrote some of it, you know what I mean? Oh. I give him, I, I can't take everything nah, off him, but family. I just sound swaggier, you know what I'm saying? I got you on that one, Jim. You know what I'm saying? Can, can I ask you a, a, a real question, though? <laughs> Why do people hate? Why you think people hate on Jim and act like he don't write his rhymes? He don't write. He don't write none of them? <laughs> nah, he's, what if, he's, he, he just does No, I mean, I, mean, I mean, not that he don't write, that, that other people construct his raps for him and give it to him. That's what they- Oh, oh that's they, the consensus. They, 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 that's nah, the consensus. They, they stupid. That's, mm -hmm. that's all I come up with, y'all stupid. How you, this nigga, he's so genius at it. First of all, Jim sounded like he was writing. When he was writing his, because he began, everybody started right. He used to mm -hmm. write his rhyme. Mm. Then when he spit it, it was like he was out with the cat in the hat. He was like, the cat and the hat. Hmm, <laughs> jump. Nah, it ain't sound. Uh -huh. So he had to master that craft, and everybody has a different craft. The way he does it is he just goes straight to sleep. Like, all right, I'm ready. I you know what I'm believe, saying? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. When 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 Ron Browse told us that, I didn't believe him. I swear to God, <laughs> until I saw Jimmy do it. Yeah, and, so and he yeah, sat yeah, there and slept yeah, yeah. and wrote. He 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 spit a rhyme. Then he went to sleep, woke up, spit another rhyme, and then did our you show. What's interesting? Everyone said that. The only with it too. The only time he never did that was the day he did the interview with us. He banged out two songs. Was wide awake, didn't go to sleep. No, he rested between the first and second song. He went to sleep. He, when was he, this, yes, though? He, he when was laid this? On this that was what year? In there. No, this was recent. Right. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, he had a, he's at the master of his craft mm. right now. Jim could do an album in like a week, like a 12 songs. He'll do, he'll do like three or four songs a day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't put him on the crunch time. He'll do it's five like, albums. You know what I'm saying? That, that's one motherfucker that gets to the Bang! <laughs> I'm talking about he. I don't give a fuck what's going on. He he's the reason because we was the diplomats, but on the sidebar we had our own clique. We was called the Insomniacs. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. Cam had us programmed to be the last nigga up and the first person up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we would go to the studio till six, seven in the morning, but we had to be up by like eight, nine. You know what I'm saying? To get ready to go. We, and that's how we was able to conquer everything because they ain't fuck with us. They, we was, after we was on un, un, um, entertainment, when un, I don't know what un did with that $64 million. They gave un $64 Yo, million. Says, why everybody <laughs> keeps saying this about the <laughs> <laughs> Give us none. I don't know what the fuck you made. Everybody Cam keeps come saying out with that. Album. We had Cam come out with this album. And he ain't even like, yo, he ain't yo every, we got to get on the show because everybody keeps talking about the 64 million. Every person in the music industry yeah. said this. This thing came out with the Wu soundtrack <laughs> and Confessions of Fire. Confessions of Fire was gangster. That was, yeah. that was, that's what set us up. We went gold and all that. Mm -hmm. but. He took all the money back from us. Oh no, you know, you signed this contract, you don't have creative this, and this is the why, and the studio time cost this. Is... I love unnoticed. Un you know, I'm fucking with you, baby. You know what it is. I love you to death. It's but... the business. Anyway, what else are you talking about? What he said? <laughs> I'm going give us none of that 64 million, nigga. I don't know where you at with it. I love you to death. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no. When y'all made on fire, what happened? How did that <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Motherfucking, we was some wild boys, you know what I'm saying? We was young and dumb and full of cum. This had nothing to do with Ken. Mm. 
Or maybe it did and he ain't. And, Cam, and no. <laughs> or, or maybe Cam ain't say nothing. I don't know if he went through this experience. I'm just telling you what's going on with me. Yeah, I did. He was like, Zeke, come up with some hook. You know what I'm saying? The beat was on. You know what I'm saying? He's like, fuck it, do the hook. He didn't know. I just came in. I just came back from Metropolitan that earlier that day, because I had a tingly. This is when I was young. You know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> it was burning a little something. You know what I'm saying? So I called my men. This is, this is my 730 click. You know what I mean? Yeah. I called my men. I called, no, excuse me. I called my little cousin, Beastie Wally. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, Ski Ski. No pause, because that's his name, Beastie Wally. I'm like, yo, man, I think I'm hit. This <laughs> nigga was like, <laughs> it's real shit. It's real. He's like, I might be hit too. Where you oh going? Oh my God. Fam, I swear to my mother, by the time me and this nigga get down there, the worst, you know how you call your niggas. It's like about seven of us in Metropolitan Hospital getting a shot three in the morning. Everybody swore they was hit. I call, I'm like, all y'all niggas is hit. It was like, maybe. We end up fucking the same bitch. Oh, okay. But on different times oh in that day. Oh my God, <laughs> bro. Word the mother. So. <laughs> Y'all was fucking a raw nose freaky? Y'all was fucking a raw? We was young. We used to, we, we was dumb. <laughs> We used to we used to call ourselves the raw gods. Raw the raw gods. Let's the go. raw gods. We raw was raw was the acronym. We used to if we was if we know if we was going raw with a girl, we'd be like Ralph Antonio Watson. And if you take the the acronyms off of that, I, know, I got I you know, raw, nigga. I know exactly. You, what like, it you is. went Ralph Antonio, Antonio Watson. <laughs> Yeah, man, yeah, Ralph Antonio <laughs> Watson. So anyway, to, 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 yeah. to answer your question. The beat is on. I'm just leaving Metropolitan, and Cam like put a hook on there, and I'm like, I'm on fire. It be the girls with the pretty face and the pretty thighs, pretty eyes, but what about the inside? And Cam was like, ooh, and that bitch on fire. He ended it for me. So I don't know if he was going through something too, cause that's it. I ain't saying you did kill him. I just, Maybe he was Ralph he, Antonio he, he too. I went Ralph Antonio the wow. night before. He was like, that bitch on fire. Yeah. And I, and, um, you know what I'm saying? So. All right, audience in the world, that's what happened. Freaky was going, Ralph Antonio Watson, and the whole 730 was too. But now, how do you feel when they refer to you as a hype hype man? Do you think that's trash that they that they reduce your position to a hype, a, a hype man or you cool with that shit? I, really, it don't, it don't. It would, it would, it would like get a little bit, but it's not enough. For, an, for a reaction, reaction. you know mm. what I'm saying? What I'm saying because I also am the hype man. I'm the janitor. I'm the president. I'm the hype man. I'm the enforcer. I'm the consoler. I'm mm. the check writer. I'm the check getter. I'm I'm everything. You know what I'm saying? So that was one of my positions. Mm -hmm. So it didn't affect me. You know what I'm saying? Like I knew. Like it, one thing about the diplomats. It's no diplomats without all of us. Like, mm -hmm. you take Jim out the equation, it wouldn't be no real diplomat. You take Joel's out the equation, no real Cam, no, all of us, Zeke, definitely. Because we all, like I said, we all had a position. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's why we still running 20 plus years later. My nigga, this shit, this shit, this shit is, is and is easy. All y'all little niggas out here, y'all got to stop trying to be the chiefs, me. And this is so repetitive. This, this has been said so many times throughout the careers mm. of everybody. This just has nothing to do with music, fam. Y'all niggas is chill the fuck out, fam. Your time, then your time don't even come when you cut throat and snake the motherfucker. Then you know what you got to do when you fuck up. Come back here. Start all over. Then you gotta run back to the nigga. Like if I do y'all niggas dirty nine times out of nine, mm -hmm. if I fuck up, the only way I'ma get back is 
come in here. Y'all you know? gonna be looking like. <laughs> <laughs> what, you want, what, you, what, what you coming back for now? Yeah, I'm done. Don't worry about it. I drew a whole ass. I got a stinking ass right there. You can kiss. <laughs> you're not coming back here. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I don't understand why y'all niggas do that shit, yo. Y'all niggas is. Y'all niggas never get nowhere. If you really look at it, every group. For some reason, breaks up, fam. Is if you notice, do, do you think it's money? It's always, it's always the money. Or do you think it's time? Why you think it's all always? Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sometimes, I, in our whole life experience, when we were younger, and I would see things break up, I'd be like, same question. Why can't they stay together? Now being through this cycle within our own self. I'm like, it makes sense. It's, it's a rarity to see something stand still, in all honesty. Everything runs its course, you think? Yeah. I, I, it's the money. I, I don't disagree. It's the, and I'm going to tell you, the reason why mm -hmm. my opinion is the money, because without it, we had arguments. We had big arguments. Fuck you, fuck that. Even fought. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? somehow got back together. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, might have fucked my girl, I, but not my wife or nothing like that. But you know, mm -hmm. the rule yeah. is no wife and no baby mamas. Anybody else, you know what I mean? Game. Yeah, snipe game all day, nigga. <laughs> <fair game>. <laughs> <laughs> I was back in my day. I'm, 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 no, no, no. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just talking about. We talking about the past. We, we're there. to the past. <laughs> there, way over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, um, so, but now, I got 10 million, you got 12 million, you got 14 million, and I'm like, fuck you. you like, fuck you, nigga. And now you could say that and feel as if you good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Before we ain't have nothing, so the fuck you was just lasting. We I, had to come back together because yeah, we, we like, wasn't good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the mm. fuck you came like, but the thing is now, like, what me, my personal opinion, my personal opinion is, and it's a hard thing to do, because you run, a lot of people be running, and then you got a lot of people in your ear, and sometimes you make up your own truths, and you stick with them. Niggas need to really go by they self and make a phone call, and just be like, let me just holla at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me just holla at you. Y'all, nobody on earth need to know shit. Nobody don't even know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Go holler, see what the fuck going on, see what it is, how it is, why it is, and what it is, and it, it, it is what it is after that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what happens. If I'm beefing with you, I may tell you, oh, I'm mad at this nigga. You, I don't know what you may think about him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you may think about me. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what you may be thinking, period, about but your opinion is going to come off of ba based off of your past emotions. So me trying to confide in you about why I'm mad at him could make shit worse. You know yep, what I'm saying? Definitely. And you don't, and it don't got nothing to do with none of this shit. You, this is just how you feel on your own shit. But if I call, if I call you directly, and directly. we talk. All the time when you beefing, when you beefing with somebody and then you finally run and this is your man, it ain't a nigga, it ain't an op, 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 op. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Well, I don't even say op because usually your ops is your friends. Yeah. But mm -hmm. when you, we see each other, it's like, yo, man. Let's it ain't no, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you see me like, man, hey, because I, I see your face and I see your love and I know we don't want this. It just got to it. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they can be like, Oh, yeah. why you do that, boy? It's supposed to, nigga, what the fuck you did that? You're like, why you do that? You already off, you off defense. You know what yes, I'm saying? You like, man, why you do that, man? Oh, I yeah. did that because blah, 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 blah. And then, and the nigga say, my bad. I'm sorry. You know what? You You're right. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. I shouldn't have did that shit. And I'm blah, 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 blah. If I'm not never talking to you, you never gonna get to move forward. You I'm know? staying aggressive. Man, fuck yeah. that nigga. Hey, nigga, that yeah, fuck. Yeah. Let's go you know what I'm saying? So me, personally, that's what I feel niggas should do. What's a mistake you made that cost you an ill bag? Self-sabotage. Ill bag? I lost the shit. I was at a dark, I was at a dark spot at one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, me fucking me up. 
Mm -hmm. That's that's the that's the shit I regret. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was a time in my life. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was actually it was the best time, but I didn't know it. You know Damn. what I'm saying? Fam, it was a time where everything started hitting me. Niggas was calling me rats. Niggas was saying that I was a sucker. I ain't shit. I went on, I forgot what show it was. I'm high and drunk. I can't say what they did because that'll make me sound crazy. Oh, they edited it wrong and they made me sound. Nah, <laughs> I was on there high. They had all type of sex with me. You know what I'm saying? I went on there thinking I'm going to explain the real because... I know what, what I know what's shaking. I know what's real. I know what I did and I didn't do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to explain it to niggas. But I'm in a room with a thousand motherfuckers and it's me. They was just, ah, shit, the fact that hey, she was. They had, they had sex with me in there. So when that happened, when that happened, I watched everybody turn their back on me. Mm. Every fucking body turned they back on me, nigga. Everybody, they. And I'm sitting there, I was like, what the fuck? And it ridiculed what I stood on, because Zeke is a street nigga, you know what I'm saying? Zeke move, and he run, and he keep it. He's a humble nigga, but don't fuck with him. And we know how the diplomat really got up, freak out, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And when that, when that label, they try to label me as that rat and all that whack shit, I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? And when I saw that everybody turned they back, everybody, nigga, everybody. Mm. I'm like, oh, shit. And that's when I was at my lowest. I was done. I'm like, what the fuck I'm going to do? I, was, I wasn't nervous to go outside, but I was... I didn't know how to, like... It wasn't comfortable, I wasn't come like, how these niggas is believing this? Like, how can I... So I'm speaking to niggas, I'm feeling some type, and then this is what makes the man in you. One day you just wake the fuck up, like, nigga, what the fuck you just sitting there worrying about all that sucker shit for, nigga? You know what you good? You know you good? You know what's shaking? You know what's popping with you? You know what you didn't do and what you did do? Get the fuck up back out there and start shaking, nigga. And that's what makes the man out of everybody. My situation, like, my situation won't be your situation or yours, but you damn sure went through a situation where you felt like you couldn't, you couldn't act, you couldn't get nobody to give you nothing. You was at a time mm -hmm. where nothing was going right. You ain't have a pot to piss in or probably a dollar to, yeah, to get Z. to. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah, Z. So, it's the, what makes us who we are while I'm sitting here thankful to be doing an interview with y'all. Yeah. This is real bag fuel, nigga. You hear me? Is This is what makes us the men that we are. Because anybody else, or my situation, or y'all situations, that, or any of y'all situations where y'all ain't got nothing and nobody trying to give you shit. Mm. Niggas, that's when that makes you a man. I was, I was asking niggas. I was at a time, I was asking niggas for bread, fam. Like, yo... Niggas give me a little two hundred dollars, little five, and these niggas is gripped up. I'm like, ooh, I wanted to throw this shit in their face, but I needed it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Fam, I was fucked up. I had that on top of me. I ain't had no bread. I started drinking, started smoking, started popping pills, and to answer your question. That's how the self-sabotage started self-sabotaging myself, feeling in pain. Like, uh, I wasn't even in pain because I'm still moving, but Yourself. I'm not noticing I'm cutting my throat slowly. You know what I'm saying? My niggas ain't picking up. I'm calling my niggas. Yo, what's up? We got the show. They like, yeah, but you know, niggas, you know, they, they, they already... They already went. I'm like, what y'all niggas leaving me out of shit? But I hear I'm drink. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. and I'm a wild boy. You know what I'm saying? When I drink, so everything got pushed away until I found myself. Mm. Now I don't give a fuck about what nobody say. I'm I'm always hype and happy. And I was going through that while y'all see me wild and ah freaky. Yeah. I, Everybody like, yo, freak, nah, you always got a good spirit. You always upbeat. You always good money. I was going through it, Ooh. fam. You know what I'm saying? It's just my, with, when, you, when you good within yourself, you always going to project that. 
Whatever mm. you have, when you get at your height or whatever, if you're drunk or if you just at high energy, you're going to project who you really are. So that's why I did all of that, even though I was in my depressed state. You know what I'm saying? But mm. when I finally picked my motherfucking self up, slapped me up, looked in the mirror and told me, nigga, you know who the fuck you are, nigga? You freaky fucking Zeke, nigga. Get the fuck back in there and stop playing, nigga. And now, it's all, as soon as I did that, bang, I stopped. I'm on my dean. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do none of that other shit I was doing, nigga. <laughs> nigga, well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> no Molly, no E. No, no Molly, no E, e no, no, no Fatty, no. <laughs> no shh, <laughs> nigga. Freak out! <laughs> That's how I was, nigga. But, you know, like I said, after that, everything started coming. My niggas, Cam started hitting me back more because they like, fam, I love you, but you not taking care of you. So what mm. the fuck am I going to do? I was trying to blame that. Like, y'all not doing it. I was playing the blame game. Mm. You ain't doing it. You see, I'm in, but I'm drunk. I'm high. I'm running around. I'm like, no, I ain't want to be around that. I'm subject to snatch a chain, subject to go in a nigga pocket, subject to fuck up a show, stop camp, be in the middle of his interview. I stop thinking. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I don't want that. Niggas is moving. We in our 40s now. So I got that. And I got, like I said, I got green magic. Let's, yeah, we got to talk about that. Man. Ended up with a motherfucking dispensary, nigga. And it ain't. It ain't that smoke shop bullshit y'all motherfuckers <laughs> see on every avenue where they got vapors and these broken Jamaican um uh, ashtrays and all this fucked up shit. No. <laughs> My shit gangster. One night in this two of them. Now on, two? Top, on top of that. Mm. Where were they at? <laughs> 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 Stop fucking with you, boy. Yeah, and I'm still the president of Diplomat Records. But anyway, it's, on, it's, on, it's in Long Island. Both of them? Both of them, yes. It's in Long Island. She mm. has. Freaky has them in Long Island. And it's right by near the, um, the Hamptons. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that money over there. Yeah. Oh, so, so, you're, so you're getting that clear money. You're getting that clear money out there. Yo, take the Bentley to get a knife for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stop at the, the, the dispensary Green Magic. That guy, Freaky, Zeke owns it. <laughs> now, how'd you get that? And what did it take? Being for it took, it took. Well, that, all that extra shit I just told you. All that shit being dark and the shit being waking the fuck up. Mm. I had to realize mm -hmm. who I am. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Yep. Once I realized who I am, whoever your higher power is, stay focused within yourself and shit will just get thrown to you. Is these, um, I don't know if they want me to say a name, but um, it's a show. They got a show out in, um, in, in um, Long Island. Okay. They was bringing Jim to the dispensary because they had the dispensary already. Mm, you know what I'm saying? But it was, you know. I got you. I got there and they like, the dude fell in love. Not, no, pause, nigga. He fucked with you. He fucked with me. <laughs> hey, motherfucking. I'm like, fam, I'm going to make this shit click, B. Mm -hmm. He said, you make this shit click, I'll give you a stake in this motherfucker. We on our second store, put it, leave it that way. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. good niggas, I found, I found, once you be you, you find, you find air likes. Mm. And son, just like he do what he do, but is the, the vibe is right there, like how it is right here. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, you be having an interview with, you know, like. I don't think that you ever sit like that in no interview, nigga. Because I've never seen none of them, but the legendary people have told me since a I said, I said, I, I said, yo, Freaky coming on the show. They was like, you got Freaky coming on the show? His interviews be fucking crazy. He be going nuts. I said, for real, and how I nigga, was like, nigga, yo, the shit, shit you did with Queen's Flip, just the body language, <laughs> everything. Masterpiece. <laughs> For ignorant niggas, Queen's real niggas. And Queen's Flip, that's a good nigga. Yo, the nigga yawned, you motherfucking fat motherfucker. Nigga yawned in the middle. He's like, hey, man. Yeah, you sure? You feel you sure? You try, you grab the chain? <laughs> but you know the oh, details yeah. of you but, reliving some yeah. of these dark moments. And, man. You know, it was ill talking about how you was in the street and Jimmy's in the club. And you're like, I know if Jimmy's here, we've washed these niggas. 
I don't know, if they, if, they, if, if in that, that particular night, they was, I, me in my opinion, like I really don't want to go no, into it, but let's, let's, I think they was on it for Sun. I think they you. was coming to get, I, I, this is what, this, I, this is my yeah. own, cause they was, they was, they, I wasn't there. I yeah. was just going. Mm -hmm. This, I made that decision off the last bottle somewhere up in Harlem, you know what I'm saying? So it was, I, it was no clue. I didn't even know I was coming down there. Got you. Ain't was already there. So in my personal opinion, that's what I felt, that, you know what I'm saying? So, but to relive him, I, like I said, I died, I, I got shot in the church, I died on the table for, for 34 seconds. That time when they shot me there, I died for 47 seconds on the table. So I'm on my third life, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about the recruitment. Tell me what your mind is going through. You, you, you didn't survive it, and you got to get back on your feet. What's your mental like? I don't even know what my motherfucking mental like, fam. I'm going to keep it. Is, is you, if I had the, the exact answer for that, I'd be a quibillionaire. I'd be having niggas lined up telling them I'd be, I'd be Professor Freaky. You know what I'm saying? I actually survived one myself, Freaky. Nigga it, tried to take me out in 2003. And I had to learn to walk again. It took me 10 months and stuff like that. Damn. And my mental Sorry was just, that. yeah, my, my mental was like, I, I just wasn't going to be afraid to go back outside. I was just, as soon as I could walk again, I, was, I, 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 just, I just went back outside and I, I turned into a whole, a, a whole different person. Mm. I turned into a rebel now. Like, who won it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter. And, and I had to calm myself. It carried over for years, freak. Yeah, yeah, it's still it there. Yo, it's still there, subdue. but I know how to subdue it, but yeah, it carried yeah. over for years, and I used to lash out, and everything was a problem. Nobody don't know what I'm going through. They like, yo, this manager, nigga, wow, you don't even know I survived the murder attempt. Yeah. I had to learn to walk again. Now I'm, in, now I'm back, and I'm in, in, in the mix, and I'm around goons. Yeah. So now you got it. So now you're around more goons, and you in the mix, and you gotta watch yourself. So your mental is either I'm gonna stay at home, or fuck that, I'm going outside. My when you when you asked me that question, I was thinking of the, the mental state of how do you just get over the fact that you di died or almost died. Mm. You don't you you don't you, you can't get over no shit like that. Mm -hmm. It turns you like just like how you say. You, you now you, your body elevated to a different level of person because you went to the, the most extreme part of, of life, yeah. which was death. You know what I'm saying? That's the most extreme part of life is death. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you was able to su survive that. So you really working on your second life. You know what I'm saying? I always like, did. The, October 5th, 2003 was when I was reborn again. That was my second life. See what I'm saying? I always tell people that. So you know, know so you know what I mean? It's and people, that's why we be in a What's different the day today. Today is the It's the fourth, ain't it? I just said October 5th, 2003. The fourth. That's crazy. So tomorrow what, what time is, is, my, is it? It's my oh, anniversary. An hour away from the fifth. It's an hour away from the fifth. Tomorrow. So and I'm sitting so, here with you talking about I, I, yo, I, I don't even know. It was crazy. About Your it no birthday more. coming up. Yeah, and my birthday coming up, October the 13th. But just to just to yeah. just to end this this selection, because yeah. it's not, yo, fam, is we got all type of shit. We got partum, we got E P H D, what's the EDHD, um, F D A D, we, we got uh, 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 what? P S T P um P T S D. P T S D post traumatic stress yeah. disorder. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We and nobody taught we didn't go I don't know, I didn't go to um no, no, nobody. I didn't speak to, I didn't get on the couch. I didn't get on the couch. This is what I'm saying, fam. I didn't get you, on the couch. This is and this is what makes like like I said, all of our situations is a hundred percent different. But it's all the same because we've been through something traumatic in ourselves. Yeah. This is what makes the one percent of us who we are, because we elevated our game through the lowest part of our life. So you mm. gonna motherfucking be able to teach. You're gonna be able to meet this is what we doing. We fuel, we got the we fuel in the bag right mm. now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? So that this is nobody's gonna be, we won. We one percent, fam. This is why this is this is what we here for, fam. You had to go through that. Because 
Mad niggas is going through that right now. And they drinking they self into a stupor, sniffing they self into a stupor, banging they arm with the with the with the manteca, taking the pills, and they hear you say this shit, and you might be like, oh, hold on, fuck this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You had to go through what you had to go through that was traumatic. So when a nigga hear that shit, they're like, oh, this nigga out here, this nigga's stupid just like me, but he knew how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm wild. I feel like I, I do it for the me. You know, what was the name of that movie? John Wick. Yeah. Remember that motherfucking nigga who was in the sewer? The um, Lawrence Fishburne? Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne. Fishburne. I'm the Lawrence Fishburne of the, like, the set. You know what I'm saying? That's I crazy. Stay, I stay in that area right there. You Have know you know seen what I'm the saying? prequel to that? What, part four? No, but they they... The guy that owns the hotel, they made a, a younger version of him to tell his story. Oh, shit. And they show about they're... the same people. It was a black woman before, mm. and she had it all sophisticated. She's like, hey, no, all these, I came from a rich person, mm. but nobody valued it. And mm. her crew is ill. It's just a bunch of homeless niggas, militant. They try to take over. They're like, huh? Yeah, so to that, see Lawrence Fishburne, it almost looks like a watered down, sophisticated yeah, that's version. The, but, that's, and that's the, this the shit I'm fucking talking that, about. Us. So that's intentional? You know what I mean? Hell no. I, I, you know, I like this. I like, I wanted to be the Jet nigga or in the Jet, in <laughs> the Jetsons and talking with Jeffries. But yeah. this is where it brought me. You know what I'm saying? You can't, I can't define my life. I wish that if I do, if I could draw up my shit like that, I don't mind it because I love it because I stay in it. I would try, I would be a fake nigga. Y'all would have known me to be fake, mm. but I stay in it. I relish in it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I like Draymond Green. I like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like yeah. the. I want to be. I play the four. You know what I mean? If we playing basketball, I've always said I'd rather have seven rings like Robert Ory than zero rings like some other niggas. Yeah, fam. I like you. That's what I'm saying. I own my position. Mm -hmm. I know what I. I know what I'm good at. You know what I'm saying? Being that y'all was up, up, up there, right, and y'all was making tons of money, you said that you hit a dark spot. Was you overspending the money that you have? Did you, was you blowing it back then? Hell fucking yeah, I was blowing. I was blowing it. That nigga, first you, first, you 20, what was I, 20? 22? 21, 22? Yeah. With M's, on top of M's. Niggas made an M, getting ready to get an M, and got all type of other M's coming. You know what I'm saying? We just, that ain't even on tour. Then we get, we get the M's on tour. So you, and you 22, fam. All we know about is trying to fly the bitch that we saw in Hawaii. <laughs> you know, we got big, you know, mm. like, I'm going to fly mine too. Why don't we just get the jet and fly a couple of them down there and go get the mansion down in Miami mm. and get the, instead of thinking about buying the mansion in Miami and trying to figure out how much it costs for the jet. I'll never forget Aunt Marsha, Marsha Streeter. I love you, baby. She was, and I ain't do it. Let me, let me get to the end of the story. I ain't do it. <laughs> She's like, nigga, why don't you take some of that damn diplomat motherfucking money and go buy you a few fucking cribs right there on 116th Street and Broadway for them Columbia University motherfuckers. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And went and got me a bottle, found me a bitch, and fucked in probably one of them, in one of them apartments in there. You know mm. what I'm saying? And now it's... $3,500 for a two bed or one bedroom a month. Yeah. A month for the college students. You know what I'm saying? And this shit been going on. And she told me this about like 24, 22, 20 years ago, 22, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, what, what would you tell? You answered, I said, but you had, you had that money. Or did you blow it? What would you tell the young dudes to do with their money? What would be some advice? Well, the if my the, my the, my younger G's, my younger G's coming up. For one, when you get your money, sit down, get the fuck away from anybody. Just for one second, take a deep breath, go in there, and go do your cartwheels, your James Brown splits, <laughs> go motherfucking woo. Run up and down your house, the hallway, wherever the fuck you at. Go do that shit, dolo, or fuck a bitch who you don't know, whatever, you got to get all that shit out and chill out. And then sit and ask yourself, what do you want to do with the money that's going to make you have the money when you don't have no more money? 
because there's always a time where the tables turn on you. Mm. The table will turn, turn my nigga. Yeah. It's going to happen. It happens because this is the reality check to see if you could do it again. Mm. Just prep yourself to be able to do it again by having a stash that you know you can't touch unless you, whatever the fuck you come up with. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you stash your money and find an investment that you know that can be lucrative for the rest of your life. Do it. I don't know what your preference may be, young G's, but make sure you do that. Cause again, motherfucker, you stinking motherfucker who think you know it the fuck all and because you fucking getting a few dollars, you start telling niggas to kiss your ass and well, if you know you would be the one with the money, not me, y'all can suck something, I don't give a fuck. And you be talking to niggas who's gonna be executives in a few minutes and then you ain't gonna be able to get around to fucking getting the real money because you cursed out. The intern who's now the executive you got the money, relax with it, you stupid motherfucker, and mm. go invest and save. And then get you a chain. If the chain costs 100000 you should have 300000 the least saved. Did you know that the, in, that the in, 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 in interns back then was going to turn around and be record execs when you was coming up? That was me talking to me. <laughs> 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 Damn. <laughs> About me back then. Yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? Shit. Cam shit went wrong. Cam had I was grabbing niggas up, making them apologize, which I don't even know what they did. I'm just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Now this nigga, the, the CEO of Dev Jam or CEO of something that I need a dollar from. What's Damn. something key that you learned from, from, from Dane? Cause I, because Dang. when I think about the dip set, I still always think about Dame Dad. Yeah. yeah you have to. You have yo, to. Because Dame, 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 shout out to Dame too. Shout out to Dame. You know what I mean? Dame, I love you. Quick talking motherfucker, but he is <laughs> the only nigga that could, that could give you something and, and make you set, give you, give him, give, you got to give him money to give it back to him, whatever the fuck that is. Dame is methodical. Bro. Dame is a he's a go getter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dame will he he takes that leap. He takes that that scary leap of faith that people are extremely scared of. Like okay. if if it costs his last dollar, he immediately puts it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Dame is the filth. Dame, Dame is the, the person that took the filter out. You know what I mean? He's going to give it to you raw. He going he gonna to give it to you direct. And that's what he instilled in us. But we funneled it in a way to be able to maneuver through the bullshit to not scare away the, the masses that pay. You understand you. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I got you. Dame is a you, genius. You putting it, you putting it, you putting it correct. That is an art form. You did. Making dead. sure you don't scare away the people that are going to pay. You know what I'm the saying? Like it's, customer. Yeah, because it's, that's the reality of life. You, mm -hmm. you could say what you want and do woo all day, but you still gonna have to finance anything that you're mm -hmm. trying to do. Got it don't matter. So. The way you do it, the, the, you you know you gotta know when and where. You got it's like a running back trying to get through the hole. You gotta juke to the left, juke to the right, go step back, or maybe run. How you gotta do whatever you gotta do to get through the hole to get to the touchdown. But if you do it in a in a dynamic where you stay able to go to sleep at night and you feel good with yourself, that's the way you win. And Dame, he's so harsh, he's so he he just stomps, he pound mm. on his chest, he King Kong, and he got a Godzilla roar, and that niggas be like. Let's not go that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where if you, you just got to, I'm not telling Dane what he got to do because he get millions. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't, I just know that's what blackballs him, his, his love and his stern way of moving. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's perfect. He reminds, like, and they think, and they, they funnel it, they, they put him, they try to make it seem like he's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I'm asking you, because nah. everybody that, I, that I, I've met him a couple times, but I never had a relationship with him, so I, I can't speak on that. But everybody yeah. tries to act like he's crazy, but I always say, being a genius is borderline crazy mm-hmm. as, 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 as well. You know what? You know what you remind me of? The, what was the dude from Back to the Future? Doc. The, Doc. Yeah. That's, that's Dane. Word? Yeah, you he, like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he always talk, ah, he just got to cut his hair. Cut Doc hair. Yeah, and he's Dane. And yeah. he's Dane. <laughs> ah, ah, this nigga knew how to send a nigga back in time. I probably should have to ask, I probably should ask Cam this, but you're so close. I'm sure you know, because this whole thing is about stories, right? Is that story really real that Cam's mom hunted down Dame and said, yo, you're you going to leave my son here and you ain't going to give him a record deal? Is that real? First, first and foremost, rest in peace, Ma. Mm. I love you. I love you. I love you. I know you looking over. I know you looking over all of us. I know you making it pop. You up there, I don't know what you doing up there, but you kicking tables and you slapping people because you <laughs> got killer shaking, nigga. And I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for being you. You taught me so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you beyond, beyond past that. You know what I mean? You mean the most to me. And with that, I'm going to just, I don't even feel like answering that question. No problem. That's, you know what, what I'm ma- saying? No problem. What made you retire from the streets? Meaning, you're, it's... For people that don't know, you was a ladies' man, but I see you got the ring now. Yeah, I got the cousin. Because the way you was living your life, yeah, that's nigga, hard I, to retire from. I had from. black, nigga, black tail, nigga, I had, black tail. I had two don't... bitches. I was like, we was talking about that before the mm. camera, and the two bitches was dykes. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, ball. <laughs> you know? But, oh. um, so Fredo Bang ain't the originator then. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, never, yeah. I don't never want to throw a nigga to the nah, side. No, he ain't me. <laughs> Put it that way. I got but you. You're good what nigga. I'm saying is, it, I found a motherfucker. I found a motherfucker who did what I did. She, she don't. She didn't go. She didn't go to work. She got. A, she had her own business. So if she don't get up and hustle. She don't eat. You know what I'm saying? And with that. And with that mentality base, that's what kind of gel does. Gotcha. Because that's where I come from. Mm-hmm. If I don't get up and go sell, whether it was in the streets or whether it's in this, in this it. industry, mm-hmm. this is us now. We don't get up. You don't get up and find you motherfuckers. We don't eat. You don't eat. So this is what we waking up. I'll be in the bed. She'll wake up three in the morning like, you know what I was thinking? <laughs> I love this shit. We should do waist trainers. Cause she has a we I got a clothing store. Yeah. Okay. Perfect pair. Myperfectpair.net. You know what I'm saying? Go at my perfect pair. All in one word. 3309 South Holden Road. We've been open. It's called Perfect Pair. We've been open 13 years now. Mm. Yeah, nigga. Holla. We got businesses. Hold on, I'll tell you the story in this. Well, anyway. The girl. I want to hear the story after. Yeah. She woke me up three in the morning. This is before waist trainers was out. <laughs> About like ten years ago, or the level, whatever they wasn't out. She's like, "Yo, I saw a waist trainer," <laughs> and went to sleep, and woke up and was like, "I think we should do it," but that's her every day. Every- Jones. Here goes the right here. Slap silly. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. She my scrap man. I'll I, I fuck up and fuck with my boy. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's what she that's do. The magnetic connection between y'all. She two. she can't. She she a hustler. You know what and I mean? And that's what you like. And I and, and, and that works for you. That's what brought me. That's. She a, she a pain in the ass. But, oh, but, but, she sound like my wife. My wife a hustler. My wife is a same. pain in the ass. It's the same shit. Wake up at 3 in the morning, be like, yo, we need to do another business. And all that. I'll be like, yo, chill the fuck out. like, yo, oh, what the fuck? What God. you thinking? Oh, yo, yo, they sound just alike. You know what's a business we can partner up in? Dipset ATMs. 
Yeah, dipshit ATMs. Yo, I keep telling you and go stop giving these niggas ideas on camera. You're supposed to take them to the side and strike the deal. You don't give them the fucking idea on camera. Now see, and the whole world knows see, about well, dips at ATMs. See, well, the thing about me is I will honor that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With them. You know what I mean? He known Heineken before, so understand that they had a relationship prior. You dig? Yeah. So I'm not gonna come out with the mobile app, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't <get> a different. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, yeah. Dip so, cash. Yeah, dip cash. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga just did it again. And he gave me the name for it. It's my God, man. Right here. See, now this is the type of nigga I would have to, he would have to come in business with me. Y'all see? Can't, Cause he got the ideas. See, see, I, that was a lesson to y'all, dumb little dumb motherfucker. First of all, brush your teeth, wash your ass. Back. Wash your ass. Wash your ass. Brush your teeth, nigga. Yes. You're running around with the same shit. That leather belt you bought from the Africans is fucking up now. Like, I gotta stop that bullshit. Yes, they fresh. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what the fuck motherfuckers got to motherfucking do now. Because mm. yeah, we passed that. We, we, we talking about assets. Mm. And because you're a liability if you ain't coming up with the, with, that's what y'all motherfuckers do. Stop coming up telling me, yo, see, if you give me the money on my idea that I got, you know, after you make sure that you get me rich. And then I get all the money. That's so. You know I'm going to get it. I said, that's you how they be how thinking. Do. You know how I'm going to do. <laughs> Go, so I ain't say that. That's why Jay-Z ain't give his cousin the 4,800. <laughs> Let me just give me, just make sure me, I'm good. Just, 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 just do, just make sure all your blood, sweat, and tears. You know, you almost died, no, like nobody you went to jail, yeah, no, like, don't worry about that. Just give me the money real quick yeah. so I could do it. And then, oh, I got you. Get your fuck, get your fuck out of here. <laughs> get your fuck out of here. Get your fuck out of here. Do what you gotta do is. You find a play. Now, if it was me trying to get into the game with y'all, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'll make sure, if y'all just say, for instance, y'all didn't know Jim, mm -hmm. my first thing is, I'm going to get y'all Jim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me chili. Then I know Cam, mm -hmm. or I Jewels, and I yeah. go get y'all Jewels real quick. I'm, I'm going to help set y'all up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that I put money in y'all pocket, y'all will enjoy making sure I I'm good. Yeah. Yep. You That's know what I'm saying? Fact. Stop what you do. It ain't a, your ideas. I'm not saying none of your ideas won't be billion dollar ideas. We just saying your idea hasn't made us walk up to y'all for help. There you so go. So you got to come and make sure we eat. They don't understand that. Why you think people don't understand that they got to give to get though? Why, what is the mentality of they just texting you saying, let's work? Why, why are people not saying, I'm going to add on, I'm going to show my value, and that's how I'm going to get down? How about people it? don't have value, and they're fully aware of it, so they just want to finesse an opportunity magically? Everybody, bro. Yeah. Everybody's finessing. Nobody yes. knows how to add value. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. thinking yeah. like, 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 what freaky, if freaky like said, I'm going to add on to what y'all got going on. It's the 1%. It's... Way more 99s than 1%. And even that 1% is finessing, but they know mm. how to. To finesse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like a bitch, a, I mean, a female, excuse me, bitches. Female. <laughs> he said a bitch, I mean, <laughs> females, females, excuse me, bitches. <laughs> a love. female who, could, who was a whore, uh -huh. and she want to change her life. She know what being a whore is like, mm -hmm. so she knows how not to be that with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, when her yeah. life is over, she could be the nicest person. She know what she can't do. She suck the soul out you, make you feel who what you are. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? We don't know all our women's way, way, the shits that they got, they going to the grave with. We don't know uh, what they got going on, but they know how not to show that, or they know what to do to make sure that is they that, don't say men. Is that, is, is that positive for us? Do, as a man, would you say, yeah, keep that shit from me, or would you want to know? As a man, of course you want to motherfucking know, mm -hmm. but it's best that you don't. It's certain shit you ain't tell your, you ain't sit your wife down and start from when you was two years older right now. I ain't saying that you did or you didn't. I told her a lot of shit, but I'm I told everything. I mean, it's shit I, you, you probably right? even forgot. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> 
And it's not that you trying to keep it away from her. It don't cross your mind to be like, you know, I should tell her this, but I'm not. It's certain things that you know what you are from here and when you got with her. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It ain't like some, unless you got a crazy the bitch from Misery. You remember that movie, Misery? Yeah, of course. If you have a bitch like that, well, then you may need to tell us. Tying you up, breaking you know your ankles maybe and then, shit like Maybe that. then that's what the fuck you need. But other than that, mm-hmm. I don't know, my girl, she, and, and she would tell you, period. You know what I'm saying? If it's things that she feel like that you need to know, that's, is you can't define it. If we had answers to all of this shit, we would be trillionaires. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We would be trillionaires. It's up for me and my spouse to be parallel to an understanding, to let it be known what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm pretty sure my girl may have not told me some, or may have. I don't think she's trying not to hide. I feel like if I ask her, she'll probably tell me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I don't feel she whole. And when I'm with her, she don't, it, it's no, we be rocking. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When, like when I told you, when I, when I thought the world was on my neck, she was the only one like, come on, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, come on, my nigga, you got to understand that life ain't, life does this. Now mm-hmm. you got it. Now is what you going to do. Now what you gonna do? So you got a soldier with you, man. She, yeah. She, she different. Yeah, that's it. And that's why I fuck with her. I seen her. And when shit got crazy for her, so she went, on her lowest end, I was there. And on my lowest end, she, was, she there. was there. You know what I'm saying? So word, I salute you for that, mommy. Word, Kara, word. Mm-hmm. That's some gangster shit. Freaky, we could talk to you all night, all night. Yeah, that's night. how these shits go, friend. Wait, I, 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 I got one more question. Where do y'all work shit come from? You a hard worker? Jimmy, Cam, Jewels, where the fuck does that come from? I wanted to be where we started. I don't want to be, I, don't, I was fucked up. We was fucked up. Me, me, Cam, and Jim used to go to Haji's on 110th and 1st, oh, buy Haji. And split it. And split it three ways. Cam used to spit on his part. <laughs> Why the fuck is that? You ain't going to get nothing my though, man. <laughs> You know, but so, but that, that's, that's why I love, that's why I love us. But it went from being there, you know what I'm saying? Was Mace there with y'all? Mace, yeah, Mace was, Mace was, it was me, Cam, and Jim running okay. a lot. But Mace was always, it was, Mace was there. Like we would go to the west side. This is when we was on the east side. It gotcha. was me, Cam, and Jim. Then we get to the west side is the, all of us, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But fam, just, just feeling that hurt. Knowing that, knowing that you, you could wake up and be like, I'm hungry and don't have it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, you know, if you got an Uber somewhere and can't Uber. Me just, with me having to be like, yo, having to be able to, having to call somebody and ask them, can they do something for me? Like, irks huh. me because I was there at that time and they said no. You know what I'm saying? I was at that. I was there. I was. I was there at those times. When they I was got like, told no too. Yeah. I, 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 I was there too. I think everybody in the music business. I, 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 I need y'all to understand this. Everybody in the music business makes a lot of money, and we all. It's a roller coaster with no seatbelt. You are definitely going to take a pitfall mm-hmm. when it comes to your money. So you got to hold on to it, invest it, or be prepared to pull your your socks up, your jeans up, mm-hmm. and get right back out there and start all over again and get money. It's not as sweet as it looks. It's a real business. It goes up and down. They like you, they book you, they call you, they want you on hooks, and then they turn around and they don't call you no more. Yep. Then you gotta turn around and get hot again. And then people start calling you and they act like that they're your best friend and they, and, oh, I, I didn't know where you was, freaky. Word. You knew where the yeah, fuck yeah, I was, yeah, nigga. Yeah, you passed right. me. You passed me. <laughs> right now? You on fire with the green magic. Yeah, fam, green magic. Let me, we, we, we talked about everything. We chopped it up, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's almost like we had a fifth of Henny. It's green magic, 161 Poose Patuck oh. Lane. Man, did you wait, 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 go. I got it, yo, pro, pro, pro. Yeah, Look, 730, yeah, it's the right 730 here. brand. Here it go. Let's go. Bob yeah, Black. native green leaf, native Bob green Black. leaf, native you know green I mean? leaf dispensary. You know what I'm saying? Two dispensaries in less than a year, nigga. To this, and this is the shit, like I said, it ain't that, that little whack smoke shop shit. Is it, is, we is have, it all the same we brand? have, 
Yeah, huh? Is it all the same grade before you say that? No, no, no. Okay. Is 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 I is good is goddamn is what the fuck and is Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got those. We ain't got to say no more. That's y'all. how you end it. Like that few like, subscribe, super thanks. Thank you, Freaky Zeke. Dipset in the building forever. Jim Jones in the corner over there chilling. Yeah, Cam, Jim, Jewels, Shaboy. Freaky Dipset. Bow. 730.